Throughout the years, I've had some questionable, okay, and even some good fits. But all that comes with the territory of finding your style. So let's get into it. Yo, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. Some of my friends call me Suevo Zero. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to find your style or pretty much like how I find my style and maybe the way I find mine and help you find yours, you feel me? So let's dive right into it. Starting off, I would like to describe like my style is like pretty basic and straight to the point. Ever since I got into dressing for real, I always like to keep things like really simple. Um, so I like build, I just have my base and then from my base, I'll add something to the outfit to make it a little bit more complete. Like for a prime example, like the outfit I have on right now, like it's really plain, like just a bandana, white tee, jeans, and some shoes. But to me, it's a really good outfit, you know? And this is another thing like I would like to add with my style. Like I really like thrifting a lot. I've always been into thrifting. And then like coming up, I really like high-end uh, designer clothes as well, but I couldn't afford it cause like it was so expensive. So like I'll be saving and buy like a piece like here and there while also thrifting. So I'm kind of just mixing it too. So the first thing I'll say, like I never follow or followed any trends. It's just never been a thing that I've been into. Um, on top of like with the trends, like it's either like I'm ahead of the trend before it comes or if the trend is currently here, like I'm not about to hop on that wave because like personally, it's just like not my style, like, you know, and then on top of that, I'm not trying to like walk outside and then I got the same exact outfit on as somebody else, you know what I mean? Because like we both following the trend. So it's just like I just stay in my lane and like I don't get off that course, you know? Me, it's like I like what I like. I dress how I dress. And if I do dress a little bit different sometimes, it's just me exploring like my personal style. Say like, buy what you like and not what the world deem is cool like at the moment. So with this first step, I don't know if I wanna say experiment or trial and error, you feel me? Cause when I feel like you developing your style, I feel like it's a lot of trial and error that you go through because you don't know what you like and what you don't like. So it's like you experiment with so many different things to see like what best fits you and your style. And that's fine because the more outfits that you try to put together, whether they're not looking good in the very beginning, you're just gonna become better and better every single time because it's like you're gonna figure out what best fits you, uh, the colors that you know complements you the best, uh, what things look good together. Like it's so many things that you learn when like putting together outfits. That's why like it's important to like you know try on outfits like at the house or even going out to like different stores that and finding pieces that you don't have that you may like. And then trying it on and seeing how you like it or seeing how you could like you know develop it within your style you feel me so that's why like experiment is so important like you know because like you get one style down pat and then you know try another one that you like because i know me personally like i, I feel like i'm good when it comes to streetwear but it's two different like styles that like i've been wanting to do for like some time now like some people are really good like putting suits together and everything like when it comes to like that style like when it comes to like styling like loafers and stuff like that i've been wanting to do that for like some time now and i did it a couple times and like the outfits was like cool but they wasn't up to the part that i wanted it to be you know so it's like going forward especially like with my style and me like documenting everything now like i'm definitely gonna be like tapping into like you know those type of styles a little bit more now and really trying to make it work because like that's something that I like and that's something that I want to like really get better at you know so it's like when I go to it it's just like that rather than me just figuring out like man like do I look goofy right now you know so it's like that but that's a period that you have to go through you know really just trying to find and develop your style because like for me like being versatile is something i'm really trying to become like not everyone is versatile so like i know for me and my personal style that's something that i'm going to be exploring and trying to like master as well like really just becoming versatile and being able to dress like in many different styles rather than just one or like a couple different styles you know what i'm saying next two i'm gonna just put them together and that's confidence and comfortability i feel like when you put anything on you really first have to be confident when you putting that on like even if you're not really confident in it fake it till you make it you feel me because like if you feel like you look good and you think you look good you will look good for example like i'm pretty sure like a lot of people question like the outfits rihanna may put together and that's just her for example but like the outfit she put together but like she's so confident in the way she wearing it and what she wearing that like you you know like you think like it look good but it really could be nothing like she could wear a garbage bag with some heels but if she walking like she confident and like this is the best outfit 
you're going to look at it the same way. You know what I mean? So it's like, not only for her, but like for you as well, like having that confidence, like that energy flows off you. So it could flow off you into other people. So even if it's not a good outfit, some people will look at it like, man, that's a good outfit because like, that's how you present the outfit, you know? So, and like, once again, not everybody is gonna agree with the outfits you put on, but who cares? If you like it, that's all that matters. But walking with that confidence is very important. I'm saying comfortability, because like, whatever you put on, you really wanna be comfortable. Like, I know like when I was younger, when I used to wear skinny jeans, sometimes like the skinny jeans would be like a little bit uncomfortable, but I really like the outfit. But now that I got like a little older, the main thing for me like is being real comfortable because like I'm gonna be in these clothes all day long. So like the main thing for me is like really just being comfortable in these clothes, you know? So like I like a little bit bigger clothes, like bigger fitting clothes. So it's like I have room, I could move around, I could do things. Like I'm just like free, like you know what I mean? And I have breathing room in here. And on top of that, it's hot, especially if summertime is really hot. So I'm like, man, like, you know, it's hot, but I have room in my clothes to breathe. So I don't know. For me, comfortability is like very important when it comes to like your style. So next one, I think I struggle with this myself, but it's important to know like, and that's knowing like your measurements and proportions. Like for me, like I said, I like to wear bigger clothes and not all the time I wear bigger clothes, it's appealing to the eye, you know what I mean? So like, I might really look bummy cause I really got this 3X shirt on, but I like the shirt, you know what I mean? But like my girl be like, ah, oh, like, you be dressing, you know, and it look nice, but like you kind of, you dressing bummy, like, you know, but I'm like, that's what I like. That's the look I like. I don't know. It's just like something that I like when I be thrifting, I be buying bigger clothes, you know, but having proportions and clothes that really fit you well, like this, this outfit I have on right now, like it really fits me well and it complements like my body, you know what I mean? So like the, the shirt fits, fits well, the pants fit well. So like, I'll say that's very important when like, finding your style just and just knowing like the sizes and proportions that are complement you rather than it doing the opposite so. and this next one is something that like everybody see is like find inspiration like you could find inspiration from literally everywhere especially like with people so many people into fashion now like, like finding that inspiration is like a little bit easier nowadays you know? any social media platform you want somebody is putting an outfit on that you may like you know and i'm not saying copy anything at all but like it's like simple things like for example, like take like little pieces, you know, and kind of just apply it to yourself and even trying it on your own. Like for example, you may like the way this person pants uh, be fit. You may like the way this person wear their jewelry, you know? So it's like just finding different things that you like and that you could implement into your own style um, rather than like you just taking like a whole outfit, almost like you dressing off a mannequin, you know? So you don't ever want to just copy anybody flat out, but just find different things that you like and kind of apply it to yourself. For me, for me personally, when I came up like and started dressing, like I got inspired from like literally everywhere. Like my cousin, like during those days, like my cousin was like jerking. I like the way he like put his clothes on. ASAP Rocky had just came out during the time. Like he was talking about all this fashion stuff. Um, I'm on Tumblr. I'm putting outfits on on Facebook. Like I'm just like, I'm in a thrift store, so being in a thrift store is like you just finding like really cool things and it's kind of forcing you to like, I don't wanna say it's forcing you, but like it kind of make you think like, how can I make this look good? How can I put an outfit with this? You know what I mean? So it's like so many different things that like really kind of just spark your interest and like have your like juices just flowing. So it's like, I like this, I like that, I like this, I like that. I like so many different things and it's like I'm just mixing it all into one and I'm mixing it all into one like, I, sometimes I'm making something different, you know what I mean? Sometimes it may be a little similar, you feel me? But that all comes with like finding like your own style, bro. Like it's a, it's real. that's why people say it's like a journey. Like finding your style and like building your wardrobe, it is a complete journey. Cause like you cannot just do it overnight. You can't buy like all of these clothes if you don't have all of this money, you know what I mean? And you can't like just find your style like overnight either because like, it takes time and like I said, developing like seeing what you like and what you don't like, what fits you, the color fits you, the compliments, your proportions. Like it's so many things that go into like finding your style that like it's just not gonna come overnight like that. Some people don't understand this, but your hair can improve or take away from an outfit. Um, it's so hard, like, I feel like it's so hard to find like the best hairstyles that fits you. But like once you find like a hairstyle that complements you, and best fits you, like, 
that's why a lot of people be like sticking with it you know and i feel like when you're with your style like not only clothes but experiment with your hair as well try different hairstyles i know me personally like i be like dyeing my hair different colors and stuff like that because i like how i look and i feel like it helps my style as well like i feel like one outfit i put on i had like green hair but i feel like the green hair made the outfit look cooler you know what i mean so i feel like some people like look over that but like Finding like a hairstyle that complements you and best fits your style is important as well. And on top of that, we could tie this in together, but like hygiene. Some people, when they put outfits on, they just be looking so clean, so neat, and so put together. Like not everyone could do that. I feel like that's like a real skill. You know what I mean? I feel like that's something that like I need to work on as well when I'm trying to like develop, like explore my style a little bit more. But like they just be looking so just neat clean and put together and it's like it lasts throughout the day like it's like how you know what i mean like how but like i said bro all of that stuff just take time and practice bro you really could like learn from like literally anything and anybody so like always be open-minded when it comes to like trying to find your style and things that you like um because you never know like what you can learn from or who you can learn from um, and it's not always verbally, but it could be visually as well. And when it comes to your style, like don't become overwhelmed with like trying to find your style. Like legit, it's no right or wrong way to do this, bro. Like everybody have their journey. Everybody have their own style. Like you you may not like the way like this person dressed like, but that's why, why it's theirs. Like, you know, like make whatever like you putting on or whatever you wearing, make it your own in your own way best thing to do like yeah watching videos like these are like cool and give you like that little bit of motivation but the best thing to do to find your style is really just to put it on you know like whether that's everything that's in your closet right now because like it's always best to work with what you have and then like go from that point but even if like you go out shopping like for me like it's really like a lifestyle for people because I know like for me, bro, like when I put a nice outfit on, bro, like it changed my whole mood. Like I be feeling good. I be feeling happy. Like I can be feeling down, but I put a nice outfit on. It just changed everything. You know what I mean? So it's like, bro, like when you putting these clothes on or picking like your outfit, it's really just a feeling like go what you feel. Like go, go with what you feel and what you gravitate to the most. Like no matter what it is, like if you picking out something that somebody else find like that's the ugliest thing in the world but if it make you happy and you feel good in it nothing else matters bro so once you get that ball rolling on like finding your style and like having your style and putting outfits on everything else is just naturally going to come to you like it's just like the more you do something the more comfortable you become doing it you know so don't ever stop trying don't let anyone else's opinions you know affect what you put on or how you put it on be confident comfortable um be open-minded and always be willing to like experiment and have that trial and error you know so um i'll say that'll wrap up the video um if you have any questions or if you have a way that people can find a style that i didn't mention drop it down in the comments down below and i will see y'all in the next video so peace